All right, buckle up for the tale of the infamous road trip that made me the master of chaos behind the wheel. So, picture this, it's 1984, and there I am, a fresh-faced 14-year-old, with my dad looking at me like, you got this, right? We're embarking on a mission from Alvin, Texas to Port O'Connor, a whopping 135-mile journey. Now mind you, my driving experience was the occasional spin around the block, not highway marathons, but hey, I was feeling adventurous that day. As I eased onto Highway 35, my dad's cool facade started to crack. He was doing the whole relaxing dad act in the passenger seat, but his death grip on the door handle told a different story. Cue the road construction. I'm talking orange cones, detour signs, and chaos galore. And in the midst of this madness, that dreaded screech, I glanced over and lo and behold the side mirror was hanging on for dear life. Dad, um, I might have slightly grazed something, I stammered expecting a lecture. But this man, this legend of a dad, looks at me deadpan and goes, Son, it's just a mirror. Cars can regenerate, right? Bless his attempt at comedy in a moment of utter panic. For the rest of the trip I was gripping that wheel like I was in a death race. We finally reached the Sancho fishing tournament and guess what? My dad became the storyteller extraordinaire, regaling everyone with our epic road trip. My lad here decided to redecorate my car with a touch of road construction flair, he announced to the crowd, getting chuckles left and right. But here's the kicker, amidst the chaos and the mirror mishap, I reeled in the biggest fish at the tournament. So in the end, the broken mirror became the sidekick to my fishing glory, a quirky, fishy twist in the legend of my debut long-distance driving adventure.